Oh man, that was a long nap. Hello everyone, my name is Faith GB, and welcome back to my main Terraria Let's Play for 1.2.4. Officially, this LP actually ended on episode 50, but I did mention that I would do a Christmas special for the remaining Frost Moon event. Well, not Frost Moon, the Frost Legion event, my friends. And I had a crazy dream last night. I had a really crazy dream in Terraria that there was some sort of being in the sky by the name of Santa Claus who might wind up dropping in on us or something. Hmm. Now, the question is, where, where could he be? Could he be up in the sky? Could he be living up in the sky? Who even know? Oh, hello. What is this? This is, this is certainly not something I built before I started this episode. What are you on about? Just follow the illusion. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on up here, shall we? What the hell? A big snow platform up in the air! Oh my god. Could this be Santa Claus's realm? But, but, where's his house? Where is, where's all of his Christmassy type stuffs? I have no idea. Has somebody or something taken the Christmas stuff away from me? I don't know, man. I don't know. All I do know is that I have a naughty present and a snow globe and a couple of presents which I obtained from a couple of mobs I've been killing. And uh, with the snow globe, of course, you can, of course, summon the Frost Legion. And by killing the Frost Legion, you can have Santa Claus spawn in your world between the dates of the 15th of December and, I believe, the 1st of January. So, yeah, now is the time to do this thing, my friends. And like I said, a bit of a Christmas special. I said I'd do it. We'll get the Frost Legion, the Frost Moon, and Santa Claus all living and all done in this world, my friends. And then we can officially call this Let Let's Play finished. So... I guess, I guess we need to go ahead and give Santa a place to live, right? You know, I mean, why would you just, why would you not do that? I mean, you know, if you want Santa to spawn in your world, you're gonna need some sort of base, my friends. Now, obviously, the only thing about me being up here is we may have the old, uh, Wyvern invasion. That may happen at some point, see, but it doesn't matter because we can easily take him down. It is no worries at all. Hello, how are you all doing? <laughs> oh, man, let's go. Okay, there we go. So what we're going to do is we are going to construct a house out of snow bricks for Santa Claus for when he spawns in here, hopefully. And uh, from there, what we're going to do is we are going to Christmasify our village in the sky. Indeed, there's going to be a bunch of awesome things going on. So here we go, my friends. We are in the process of building Santa Claus his very, very own house it is going to be amazing and i'm very much looking forward to him coming inside this world so we can see what goes on oh boy okay so here we go snow blocks uh here we go it's gonna be a nice old snow house for santa claus it's gonna be amazing my friends it's gonna be amazing All right okay here we go good stuff now obviously there's many many other things that can make this place a bit more Christmassy. you know some of the old snow trees or boreal wood trees as some would call it uh you could also have some holly maybe we could have a festive outfit you know all of these things well most of these things you can get from the presents so we're gonna try and get as much things from the presents as we possibly can my friends right okay uh we've got snow bricks we have ourselves a workbench let's go ahead and make ourselves some walls like us all there we go, 160. Nice amount. Okay, let's start filling this stuff in. Oh man, we're making Santa Claus's very own place. I'm so looking forward to this, my friends. I'm so looking forward to this. And obviously, we're just going to do the Frost Moon because, you know, it's kind of a Christmassy, wintry type thing, I guess. Yes, you can do the event at any time of the year, but I don't know, now just seems like the perfect time to do it, if you get what I mean. So, let's go ahead. And let's make Santa Claus his very own little workstation. It's going to consist of a table and a chair. And we may go ahead and fill it up with some more stuff once we get some more stuff. What have we got? Candy cane blocks. Oh my god. We can have like a little candy cane in here. There we go. <laughs> it's a candy cane indoors. This looks so stupid. I think it's facing the wrong way personally. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it face that way. Like, like that. Except now I can't get up and down. Hmm, good stuff, Python, good stuff. You planned this out really well, haven't you, bud? <laughs> what a dum-dum. I wanna, I wanna put it in there. I wanna put it in here. Here we go. Yeah, the candy cane is now part of the house. Okay, this is awesome. <laughs> uh, can you make candy cane walls? Candy cane background walls? Oh my god, okay. We should totally try this thing out. Okay, here we, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and put the candy cane as the background. Okay. Let's see if this works. We are going to see if this works. No, that's the wrong block. 
Wrong block, we need the walls. Oh my god, this is the greatest day ever. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. Why was I not doing this before? Okay, let's grab some more candy cane walls. We should probably get some green ones, shouldn't we? Because that would make sense, you know. Add a little bit of colour to the old house. It would be amazing. Okay, boom, boom. We need to, of course, invert these. There we go. And we can, I guess we could put another one in here. So, one, two, three, get rid of that. Four, five? Has that done it? I think it might have. Oh yeah! <laughs> it's a it's a little snow house for little Santa Claus. Awesome sauce. Oh wait, right. let's grab ourselves a door, my friends, and let's go ahead and chuck it in here. I guess there we go. Get killed! All of you get killed. You none of you should be here, to be honest with you. And none of you at all. And look, some of the trees are growing. Awesome. How come these don't look like proper boreal trees? Is it because it was generated before 1.2.4? I think 1.2.4 introduced the boy out wood. It wasn't the 1.2 main update. That's one thing I do know. Right. Oh, uh, oh there's our first wyvern. Hello, buddy. How you doing? This guy can just die in like a few seconds flat, pretty much. Right. Okay. There's only one thing to do at a time like this, my friends. One thing and one thing only can make the Santa NPC spawn. We have to take down the Frost Legion, my friends. I guess without further ado, it's time to do it, my friends. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm so looking forward to this. Okay, the Frost Legion is approaching from the east. Now, I would like to get this event done as quickly as possible, and the reason why I want to get it done as quickly as possible is because I want to try and get the Frost Moon done as well, and then obviously after that, we can go ahead and see Santa Claus, if he is there, of course, and then we can get some cool Christmassy things done. Oh yeah. There we go, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Little snow realm up there. Pretty funny. There we go. Okay, where are you? Where are you? You're gonna get absolutely melted inside of my trap, buddy. Come on. I really want to try and get Santa outfit as well, because I feel like that would fit the bill very, very well, my friends. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try and take these guys down as quickly as possible, because I believe it is past midday. Let me just turn the background off really quick, just so we can see what time it is. Yeah, as you can see. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting there. It's more like the evening at the moment, so... You know, if we get this done quick, we can, of course, try and take down the Foss Moon straight after. All right. Quickest deaths will suffice. <laughs> oh, I want to get so many presents from this. Because what we're going to do is we're going to try... We're going to buy a bunch of Christmas trees from the Santa NPC. And then we're going to try and put some presents, as in place them down under the trees or beside them. So they actually look like, you know, there's presents under the tree, I guess. <laughs> it's going to be so cool. Hello! Hi! How are you all doing, buddies? How are you all doing? I wonder if you could have the Frost Moon and the Frost Legion going on at the same time. I feel like that wouldn't work. I don't know. I think I remember reading on the wiki that you can't have two invasions happening at the same time. Without one being severely affected, at least, by the other. Hmm. I shall have to do some research. Yes. Research indeed. Come on, buddy. Shouldn't even have to use any health potions here. It should be easy. Right, let, let's try using a different bunch of weapons. There we go. There you go, buddies. Just just, just get murked. There we go. Just get killed. Hello. No one over there. All the snowmen are getting melted. Lol. Man, I'm not being very nice to the snowmen, am I? But, uh, you know, as you can see, they are using hostile weapons against me. I mean, obviously, what I could do is I could stop shooting and then maybe try to reason with them, but... Uh, I don't know if they're going to do that. I don't know if they're going to do that. I feel like they won't. Because, I don't know, just... They seem... They just don't seem the kind of enemies that want to reason. Can you imagine if that was a natural thing in Terraria? <laughs> like, you just, like, put your weapons away when in combat. And then as a result from that, you can, like, reason with the enemies and become friends with them or something. That'd be funny. It'd be like factions or something. Befriend the enemies. Betray them as well if you really want to. <laughs> okay. You all done? You, you all done yet? Hmm? You all done yet? I want Santa Claus, man. Look at all the presents down there. There's loads of them. I could see at least five. I think I could see five. I could see like a ribbon on top of the coins. Looks pretty funny, actually. Hello. There we go. The Force Legion has been defeated, my friends. Fantastic stuff. Oh, right. I'm a happy bunny as a result of that. Oh, boy. Prezies! 
How many did we get? We got 10 presents from that. Not bad. Not a bad start, my friends. Not a bad start. Can be plays. Oh, they're all different sizes as well. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> all different colours and sizes. That's amazing. Right, okay. Is it time? It is not time. Okay, Santa Claus. Are you going to spawn in, buddy? Or are you going to spawn in on the next morning? Which, to be honest, is when I kind of expect you to spawn. Because, you know, it'll be like simulating Christmas morning. You know, that'd be great. Santa Claus! Oh, my God. He has arrived. Is he in the top house? He is not in the top house. He's in the wrong place, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like I should get up to the thing and allocate him his proper house before doing the frost moon because otherwise he isn't going to spawn there. Come on, buddy. We need to be quicker than this. We need to be quicker than this. Come on. Navigation. There we go. Get a bit of a head start, buddy. Head starts for the win. What? 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 There we go. Oh, no. It's night time. Oh no, Santa Claus! Santa Claus! You gotta get in your house, buddy! You gotta get in your house! Eee, there we go! I've just allocated him his house! Alright, let's get the women and let's get the hell out of it! Wait, eee, go! Oh boy, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, let's get back down to the floor. Hopefully none of my NPCs die, because that wouldn't be a very nice way to spend what is essentially a Christmas Eve on Terraria. Alright, there we go. I'm, I feel like the Terror Blade is actually the uh, better option to start out with in a Frost Moon. For all the ground enemies, and then obviously later on, we of course have the uh, the ever scream and all the things like that. So the flare one would probably be the we best weapon to go for. Keep it going, wave three. Wow, look how fast the thing this thing is going. Keep it going. Wave four. <laughs> man, this thing is going so quickly. It's actually ridiculous. Oh man, this is so cool. Okay, I feel like I should use a buff as well. There we go. There the better the old buffies. Alright, we've got Mr. Christmas Tree with us as well. Oh man. I'm pretty sure in the Christmas event on Terraria, if you do the Frost Moon and you get the uh, the chest mimics, the, oh what are they called? Uh, the present mimics to spawn, I'm pretty sure they guarantee a present drop. Pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. I remember from last Christmas, you used to be able to do that. It's a good way of farming out presents. Okay. There we go. All the guys. Hello. How are you all doing? Wave six. Keep it going. We are not done yet. Not by any stretch. Did I, did I shut this thing off? Why have I got a feeling I shut the trap off? I feel, I feel like... Yeah, I did. I did. I'm a very, very stupid idiot. There we go. I just turned it back on again. <laughs> oh, boy. Ignore what I... Ignore that. I, I, was, I wasn't a complete derp or anything. I'm actually nearly dead at this point. I should, I've got to be careful. What? I just got a hallowed key mold. Well, I can't say I was expecting that. I've got to be honest with you guys. It's an interesting development right there. Huh. Okay, go down. Get the hearts and get out. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Hello. How are you doing, buddy? All right. I might take a very quick break just to see the map to see if Santa Claus is actually in his house. He must be, because if he isn't, then who's who's keeping a watch eye on us all? Hmm? Who's checking if we're naughty and nice? Who's making a list and checking it twice? I don't know. Because if he's not up there, then I don't know what's going on. And health. Oh, I can't use my health. Oh, no, I can. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Good stuff. Okay, can I quickly look? Is he up there? He is! Good stuff. Oh, hey there, Mr. Worm. I don't even know what you're doing there, so... Uh... You know, you're kind of not welcome to this party. This party is, of course, welcome to elves and sand tanks and big Christmas trees with arms and such. But, you know, not you. Not you. Weird worm. Unless there's like a Christmas worm, in which case, cool. <laughs> Although, you know, I kind of doubt they'll add that. Can you imagine that Christmas worm? How the hell would that even work? How would it work? Hello. Hi. Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? Yeah, now you are. Good stuff, good stuff. Wave 9! Okay, what is that? A chain gun? Awesome source. That's our first proper drop, I guess. Oh, uh, <laughs> Oh, wait. Do, 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 do. The night time is about halfway done. Awesome source. Hello, Mr. Tree. How are you doing? I like how every single one of my hits does at least 100 damage to this guy. It's amazing. The DPS of the flare on is just insane. It just is. Oh, hello. Ah, so many things going on. 
Gotta be careful. There's little helicopter things that are a pain in the butt as well. Don't want that. What is that? Uh, health? Okay, good stuff. Wave 10! Keep it going. We're now we're done. The question is, are we going to manage... Are we going to manage getting to wave 15? If we get to wave 15, we will be able to start getting the old trophies. You know? Because I don't... I can't remember if I've ever got trophies from this event before. I know I've got it from the pumpkin moon, because of course I got to the final wave, which for the pumpkin moon is wave 15. Obviously the uh, frost moon lasts for 20 waves, and the final wave of the frost moon is actually infinite until it becomes daytime. So, uh, you know, that's a pretty interesting way of doing things, but yeah, that's just how it is, I guess. Okay, still pretty good in health. Uh, the only thing is, if I leave too many things on the floor, what can happen is I wind up hitting the old, uh, uh, what's, what's it called? The dropped items limit, I guess? Oh, hey there, Mr. Mr. Ice Queen. Yep, you are called a Mr. Ice Queen, because, you know, logic. You know, I think GB's logic. <laughs> we all love logic. Not. I mean, yeah, this game doesn't have a lot of logic as it is, so it doesn't matter. It's like Minecraft in, in that sense. <laughs> Hello. Hi. The damage is real. Okay, here we go, here we go. Just gotta keep in her tail, I guess. Or whatever her equivalent tail is called. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Ouch, ouch. Oh, don't freeze me on the spot. What is, what is this? What is this? That ain't fair. Hello. None it. Come on. There you go. Ah, it's always nice to cooperate, isn't it? Indeed. Oh, right. What's going on around here? Oh, another flocko. Look at you, little snowflake dude. <laughs> little snowflake dudes. I like them. They're funny. They don't have very interesting attacks. They just sort of home around like some sort of weird snowflake boomerang. Hello. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> weird stuff. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, there we go. Back up to max health. Good thing I left the old hearts there. Why come that's not homing in towards her? Oh, weird. Did you guys see that? Was it because she was partially in the ground? I have no idea. That was kind of weird. The uh, the projectiles did not home towards her for a little while there. Unless there were, like, other enemies in the way. In which case, okay. Okay. That's good. Yay! Health and such in wave 12. Awesome source. Keep it going, my friend. Let's try and get some health back. There we go. Just a wee bit. I love that she can be set on fire. That's... <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, I guess it does make sense, you know, I'm using a, uh, a fire gauntlet, or flame gauntlet. What's it called? A fire gauntlet? I think it's called a fire gauntlet. Yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Pretty good accessory, in my opinion. Increases damage overall, and of course, inflicts fire damage upon those who can receive it. So I'm pretty sure the destroyer cannot accept flame damage, so kind of useless against him, I guess. Hello. Okay. A lot of things going on. Get some health back. There we go. I don't think we're going to get to wave 15, my friends. Let's just get rid of the map just so we can see how far we... Yeah. I'd say estimations about two minutes left of this event. Might be able to get a couple more Ice Queen kills in, but I think that might be about it. And then after that, we are going to see Santa Claus and see what he's selling. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. Hello. I'm down here, buddy. The more bosses I kill, the quicker I can progress through the ranks. Waves. Whatever that you want to call them. And she's dead. Oh, and health. Oh, good lord. That was actually pretty close to death. Okay, get the candy canes. Get a little bit of health back. There we go, buddy. A little bit more stuff down there. Oh, a razor pine. Nice. That would, of course, be useful in my mage playthrough, which obviously I'm not doing at the moment, but will be soon. Huh. Oh, she's stuck where she is. She's stuck where she is. Big mistake. That's when I do the most damage, you fool. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Oh, man. What can, What else can we get from this event? We have got... We've gotten the chain gun and the razor pine. Uh-oh. Careful. I can be very, very careful. You are actually running low on health. Okay. Oh, no. Sand tank. <gasps> oh, blizzard staff. That's pretty interesting. Oh, she's out the game. Oh, yes, another one has just spawned. Hello. Ha ha ha. There's not a lot of hearts left around here. I'm going to have to get on here. There we go. Ooh, careful. 
Oh man, I am playing with fire here. Obviously not literally. Oh no, come back here! Come on! Ah, oh, He's out of the game. Oh well. Ladies and gentlemen, that was not a bad event right there. That really was. What do we get? A hallowed key mold, which of course is useless because we've already opened the chest on this world. We've got a chain gun, a razor pine, and what, what, an ignorant blizzard staff. And of course, 37 presents. My god, that's a, that's a pretty high amount right there. I'm a big fan of that. Okay, let's see, uh, let's see just how many presents are actually down here. There we go. Oh, there's only one present. Huh. Interesting. Oh, there's another one. It's 40 presents. Okay. Light shards. Uh, yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much it. Alright, good stuff. Let's go ahead and get ourselves back up to the old village. And see what Santa Claus is selling, I guess. Oh man, I'm looking forward to this. It's been a long time since I've messed around with the Christmassy stuff on uh, Terraria. Because, uh, yes, I am aware that you can sort of hack the game. Even though all you do is change a Windows clock and you can basically force Santa to spawn. But I don't like to do that because I feel like it's sort of cheating in a way. Oh my god. He is here. The legend himself. The legend himself. Oh my god. Hello. Ho, ho, ho. And a bottle of eggnog. That's weird. Eggnog isn't really that big of a thing in the UK. I believe it is in the US and Canada, but uh, the UK, while we do have it, we don't really sort of swear by it, I guess. I don't know. It's just a regional thing, I guess. Oh, look at all this cool stuff. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. I'm going to become Santa Claus myself. Oh my god, this is so cool. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh, yeah. Look at me. I am... I am your helper. I have helped you survive against all of these things. So, I hope, I hope you're, uh, I hope you're grateful, little buddy. You gonna give me anything cool? Hmm. There we go. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do six Christmas trees because why not? That is, that is what I'm trying to say. Why not? That is the thing with Christmas. You could just say why not and get away with loads of things. <laughs> there we go. Hello, Mr. Harpy. You ain't getting in, so I don't know why you're trying, bro. Okay, what else can we have? A garland? Nice. We'll have a couple of white ones, a couple of red ones, a couple of green ones. What's this? A bow topper. Interesting. Alright, it's time to Christmasify our village. That's not even a word, but I'm making it up for this very episode. Here we go, my friends. We're gonna put some Christmas trees. We're gonna spread some Christmas cheer in this place. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I've actually got the perfect amount of Christmas trees. Okay, here we go. It's time! Oh my god, here we go. Green bulbs, put them on. Oh my god, this is so cool. Okay, uh, yellow and green. Yeah! Yeah, okay, star topper. Eh. And we'll, we'll have, we'll have a green garden to match it all. Oh, this is so cool. Alright, let's go, let's go do another one. Let's go over here. Oh yeah, okay, we'll have this topper. Okay, we're gonna have red and yellow. Red and yellow again, and then we will have a red garland for that one. <laughs> oh, this is so awesome. I am a big fan of the Christmas trees. I am a big fan of the amount of customization you can have with these Christmas trees. Uh, okay, this one we are going to have a white garland. Hmm. Blue and yellow? Yeah, that works. Uh, white and yellow? Yeah, why not? Here we go. Oh boy. Okay, let's continue over this side. Okay, we'll have that one. We're just putting random ones on at this point. There we go. Let's have that one. And we will have... What have green baubles on that one? <laughs> oh, there's another present. So we have 41 presents. Nice. Oh, damn. Okay, one more. We've got one more Christmas tree, my friends. And then we got to start doing the old lighty. Lighty things, you know? Because that's one thing I forgot to do. Go. And of course, we've got the top on this one, which I kind of forgot because I'm a dum dum. Okay, let's start placing down some presents. There we go. Wait, can oh, you can't stack them. Oh, that kind of sucks. Oh well, doesn't matter. Hello, Mr. Nurse. Yes, you are a Mr. Nurse. I'm calling everybody wrong by their titles. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I wish you could stack these on top of each other. That'd be awesome. That would, I feel like that would simulate Christmas a bit better if you could stack uh, Christmas presents on top of each other, you know? Let's get rid of that, and let's continue 
Placing these down, there we go. Awesome source. I love this, I, I just do, it's amazing. Okay, and over here, next to the old pumpkins. Gotta love the pumpkins, you know. Halloween, mixing in with Christmas. I mean, you know, why not? Uh, I tell you what, we will. We will give the rest of the presents to Santa Claus. I'm not too fussed about receiving things. I'm more interested in giving things, which is why I've put the presents down. I gave him a Christmas tree. All the NPCs have got their own little Christmas party going on down here. All right. <laughs> okay, let's get up to the uh, let's get up to Santa's Isle. I'm going to call it Santa's Isle. That's that's what it is. Hello, hello. Can I can I put? I wonder if I could put Christmas lights on the trees. All right, let's buy fifty of each. Because, oh, that's, that's more than 50, because uh, the stack goes a bit crazy, doesn't it? Can I put these on? What about here? Oh, I can. Okay. I can put them on the floor. Interesting. Okay, can I put them in here? Oh, I can. Ooh. Okay, I'll have one there, one there, and we'll have a blue one right there. Okay, good stuff. All right, we might as well put some in here as well. Yeah, we'll have a red one, another red one, we'll have a blue one. And we'll have a green one. There we go. All right, Santa Claus. Here is your stuff. Oh, okay. Apparently, I can't put them up there. There you go, buddy. Please, accept some presents from me. You deserve it. All of the th nice things you do for us each year. And I feel like... I feel like you don't get rewarded enough, buddy. All right. I guess it's... Am I okay to keep this present that I've got right here? I mean, I can't put any more in your house because I kind of like being able to open the doors both ways. Eh? Is, it, is that okay, Santa? Alright, what have we got? Oh, he gave me a sugar cookie! <laughs> oh, awesome! That's amazing! Uh, okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to grab the rest of the lights. And we're going to decorate the crap of, out of the village down there. Uh, I'll tell you what, should I give you a Christmas tree as well? I feel like I should. There we go. Let's have three. Uh, one with that topping, one with that topping. And we'll have a bow topping as well. And we'll have all the colours. All the colours in the world. Multicolored bulbs makes me happy. Here we go, and we'll have that, and this, and this. All right, here we go. Let's let's plant some of these down. One there, one there, and we'll have one right here with a torch next to it. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna decorate all of these at the same time like a pro, because I am a pro Santa Claus. Hey, hey, don't don't disturb me. Don't disturb me. I'm busy. I'm very busy. I am a professional tree decorator. You get in my way, you get killed. That's kind of how it works. Although, up here it shouldn't, I guess. Because, <laughs> you know, it's Christmas and such. Alright, the bow can go on there. Because it's, you know, in the middle. And then two, star that's, two stars at the side. Oh man, look at that. Just look at that. There we go. That's fantastic. That is brilliant. I love that very much. Alright, final thing to do. Let's just go down. Let's give them some Christmas lights. Give them some Christmas cheer. And we will wrap up the Christmas special right there, my friends. Now, the question is... Where should I put these Christmas lights? There aren't actually that many places to put them. Because, you know, I've got banners sort of all over the place. Hmm, maybe I could take the banners down for now. Hmm, should be okay, right? Hopefully these guys are okay. You know, I'm just redecorating the house a little bit. It's, it's fine, I'm not stealing anything. I'm not stealing anything, so don't worry your faces. One there, one there, one there. Oh, hang on, that's too far along. I want to keep, keep the pattern going. There we go. There, 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 and we've got the green ones. Yay! Christmas lights! Awesome! Uh, can we can put a couple in here. See no reason not to. There we go. Uh, some in here, maybe? I just randomly put them in here at this point. There we go. And the rest of them can be green. Oh, I just drank a potion when I didn't need to. Python is a dum-dum. Good stuff. There we go. Oh yeah, keep it all going. Greens, blues, sweet stuff. I uh, don't think I could put too much in here. Uh, apparently it's 1.45pm in Terraria time, so that's interesting, I guess. <laughs> you know, because we all need to know the time in Terraria right now, do we? Okay, here we go. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, couple more houses to, de to decorate and we are pretty much done, my friends. Alright, once again, we'll take down the banners in here. There we go. Put some of the old decorations in here. And green. Ooh, sweet. Okay. We're getting there. Christmas is awesome. It's like the best time of the year for everybody. Unless you don't celebrate Christmas, in which case, 
in which case, you know, just have a happy holidays, I guess. Good old time off school. Oh man, I do miss the old time off school. <laughs> ah, one of the downsides of being at work. Oh, you have to work all the way up until Christmas Eve. I know we go. Good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to wrap it up for the Christmas special. As you can see, we have plenty of Christmassy stuff going on. We defeated the Frost Legion. We, of course, have all of these Christmassy stuffs in our village. And obviously on Santa's Isle up top, we have the Santa NPC. We took down the Frost Moon. And yeah, everything is looking pretty damn awesome, my friends. It's been a bit of an extended episode, but you know, it's a special, so who cares? It's all good. It's all in the name of the Christmas spirit, my friends. But that is officially properly going to wrap it up for this Terraria 1.2.4 Let's Play. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you're excited to see more Terraria content, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. Now, questions or answers, should I say. Will I be doing a 1.3 main Let's Play? Yes! I will be doing that as soon as 1.3 comes out. Will I be doing an Expert Mode Let's Play, which apparently is one of the features in 1.3? Yes, I will be doing an Expert Mode Let's Play. When will I be doing the Summoner and or Mage playthroughs? Probably after I do the 1.3 main LPs. And uh, again, as I've said before, I'm not starting any more Terraria LPs for now until 1.3 comes out. Okay, so for now, it is just the Ranger playthrough. But, you know, that's going to be going out at a, at a bit of an increased uh, rate. Because obviously, you know, it's the only Terraria series going out at the moment. If I do run out of Terraria content altogether, I will try and think of some more Terraria content to, uh, to do on this channel. Because obviously, a lot of you guys, I believe are here for Terraria and I very much appreciate you guys for sticking by me for that and uh, yeah yeah just gonna just gonna keep the old uh, gonna keep the old video ideas flowing through my brain but yes guys thank you very much for watching I very much appreciate your continued support and I will see you guys later have yourself a happy holidays and yeah see you later guys